What happened? Well, look, our, as you said, our results are definitely in line with expectations and our guidance. But FY19 undoubtedly has been a pivotal year for Telstra. We're just over halfway through the migration of our customers onto the national broadband network. We've launched 5G and we're one year into our new T22 strategy. And so if you look at our results, there's really three things I would call out that are important to understand. Firstly, that anticipated impact of the migration to the NBN. We've absorbed in year an incremental $600 million of negative recurring EBITDA in the period. Uh, secondly, in the mobile market here in Australia, it was a very competitive uh, financial year 19. We're pleased with how we've performed relative to market. We did manage to grow our mobile revenue 1.6%. Mm. Uh, however, it did put pressure on margins. And then finally, in FY19, there is a large amount of one-offs, a uh, billion-dollar increase in our one-off costs, and they are directly mm. related to the progress on our but T22 strategy. Sure. Vicky, it, Tom here in Beijing. You mentioned the 5G investment. You're leading in the 5G space in Australia. When does that start to impact revenue per user? Well, look, yeah, we are leading the market in 5G, and it is a big part of our overall premium position in the Australian market. So being first in market absolutely matters and underpins our overall mobile performance. I think undoubtedly what we're seeing in Australia right now is all of the operators turning their minds to getting a return on the investments we're all making and having to make into 5G. And so, look, our 5G business case stacks up just basically on the efficiency it drives right. in our network and the data demand. Any future revenue and new services which undoubtedly will come will be cream on top. Mm.